Seven extremely useful websites you should be using in 2022. These websites are the ones that I have been using myself for a long time now. So I want to share these with you in this video. Hit the like button and let's get into this one. The first website is for anyone who's trying to find the best deal for what they want to order online. Let's say you're on Amazon and you want to order something. You can view the past history of prices of that object to find out if this is the lowest price for this object. For example, we have Keepa.com. This is a Chrome extension that you can get that will help you with exactly that. Just to give you an example, let's say you want to order the Harry Potter box set. You can go down and you can see the price of this box set across the last year, the last three months, all the days that it has been on Amazon and you can compare it with today's price and you will find out that today is the best day for you to get this box set just for 2183. But anyways, this is a great tool that I've been using all the time whenever I want to order something just to check if this is the best deal I can get or should I wait for a couple of more months for the price to go down. You just need to get the Chrome extension of Keepa and then you can start using this on sites like Amazon. Moving on, the second website is for anyone who wants to maybe edit their PDFs, convert PDFs, or just do whatever you want to with PDFs. I have been using PDF Candy for the last, I think four or five years. It's been of huge help to me. I have a bunch of PDFs always lying around, maybe for my courses, maybe for my book readings. And this is a great source for me to maybe compress a PDF, maybe merge a PDF, convert PDFs. I can split the PDF, I can delete pages, I can do all sorts of things. I can extract the text, I can also extract images, I can add page numbers, I can add a header and footer. You can do all sorts of things with the help of PDF Candy and it's been of huge help to me whenever I'm trying to use PDFs and trying to change something in that PDF. So do take a look at this if you're interested. All of these links of these platforms or these websites are going to be in the description. So do take a look at this if you are interested. Most people spend countless hours accessing different websites. This leads to various passwords, notes, files across various different systems and tens of browser tabs open all at once. Identity is here to simplify the internet for you. Identity is your home screen on the internet. It allows you to organize and access everything you do on the internet in one place. I can search for different categories. For example, for work, I can look at AngelList and Defolio or let's say I want to do shopping so I can search for shopping or let's say I want to learn something so I can search for that. It just makes it really simple for me to access different websites all at one place. I can simply click on this tile to launch that particular website. Now when you click a tile, the password is automatically copied. So you can just click on here and you can log in to your website. Now on the top right, as you can see right here, you can view all the different categories that you might have. Email, fun, invest, learn, as you can see on your screen. You can also take a look at the notes and list tab right here. You can click on this and you can check out all the different notes and tasks and you can complete them like this and you can also add the due date over there and you can link the particular application on which you need to complete that task. And that is how easy it is for you to manage all the different websites you access all at one place with the help of Identity. You can start using it for free with the link in the description. I think Identity is a great way for you to be mindful and intentional for what you want to consume on the internet. Huge thanks to Identity for sponsoring this part of the video but let's move on to the next part. The next website is for anyone who's trying to stay focused on maybe learning a skill, reading a report, reading a book, listening to an audiobook, or maybe you're trying to sleep. It would be great if you can have some music playing at the back. I prefer to have nature sounds rather than having lo-fi beats. And that is what you can do with the help of Calm Sound. It's a website that I have been using for listening to ocean sounds, rain sounds, country garden, relaxing mix, or just nature sounds in general, right? So let me just give you an example by running the ocean sounds right here. I would play this, I would lower the volume, and then I would get to focusing on my work. So this is one more thing that you can check out, Calm Sound. There are other websites as well, but this is what I personally like to use. The next website is for anyone who's trying to learn about personal finance and investing, but doesn't really know what resources to use. Zero the Varsity is what you can use. It's a collection of blogs with which you can learn about introduction to stock markets, technical and fundamental analysis, futures and options trading, taxation, mutual funds, you know, currency, commodity, government securities, basically whatever it is that you want to learn about finance, they have a bunch of blogs that you can look at and you can learn about the same. 
Hindi mein bhi hai. So if you are not comfortable with English, you can take a look at this. And they also have video lessons for the first three modules. So you can also look at videos if that's what you prefer. So do take a look at this if you're interested. Make sure that you also hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you're getting value from this one video. Now the next website is for anyone who's trying to get some discounts on whatever thing that they're ordering online. I personally have been using Honey for a long time. So basically just to share with you, this is the platform. You can install their Chrome extension right here and then they have various different coupon codes that you can use. So let's say you are trying to book a flight or maybe make my trip or go IBBO and you can just open this up and it will suggest you what codes you can use to save up some money whenever trying to order something online. So this is another great thing that I personally like to use. You can also try it out and let me know if you end up getting some huge discounts with the help of Honey. It is completely free and as you can see on the screen, it is valid on a lot of different stores or websites that you might be ordering something from. So do take a look at this if you have not ordered already link is going to be in the description for all the other resources as well the last website on the list is readwise.io so normally whenever you are on the internet you might come across some interesting idea something useful that you might want to remember but you don't take note of it because it is difficult and you might want to go and take a look at some different website with the help of readwise.io you can highlight it and you can save it in readwise and then it will send you daily digests in which you can revise whatever it is that you highlighted previously and you can do something called a spaced repetition which will help you remember all of these ideas much more clearly in your brain. One more useful feature of Readwise is that when you integrate it with your Twitter account you can simply just go on any thread on Twitter that you might find interesting and you can just say at readwise.io save and it will automatically save that whole thread in your Readwise account and you can revisit it whenever you want to. So this is another great thing that I found really helpful. So do take a look at this. It's really useful. It's something that you can use for free. You can highlight things from ebooks, from articles, from videos, from blogs, pretty much whatever it is that you consume. And also you can import it into your Notion workspace. So this is also a great add-on with the help of Readwise. Again, the links of all of these are going to be in the description. These were the seven helpful tools that you can start using. Also take a look at identity with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. Um, let me know what other tools have you been using which have been really useful for you in the comment section as well. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram as well as Twitter. Hit the like button, share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers on this channel. I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.